Right, well today we're going to look at how to make uh, Depon into a, a curved form surface. So of course Depon, whether it's uh, grey or white, comes like this. This is 3 mil, And we're going to look at how we can use some forming techniques to form it into a nice uh, aerofoil shape like this. Uh, this one you see has actually got the, the bottom on it there. Uh, or you can just make it into a shape like this. And we're going to look at how we make a, a mold and use hot water to form it into that shape. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a process, this is a little bit like the, the process they use for aluminium, uh, where we've got a mold and we heat the we heat the Depron and we pull it through the mold and heat it, and that's how it forms into shape. So first of all, you can see these molds. Here's a, these are made out of 6 mil Depron. This is a white one. This one here, I think it's easier to see on the video, so I'll show you this one. And you can see both the sides have got cutouts in them. So the first thing we need to do is make our box. Right, it's a really simple process. You just cut out your pieces to make the box. Okay, I'm going to use a piece of uh, grey Depron. And I'm just going to make my own airfoil shape, like this. I need a bit more of a bend there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to actually transfer that onto this onto one side. Okay, so we're just going to get a pen, and we're going to draw around that, mark the end pieces in between the fingers. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that gives us a basic shape for our wing. And the next thing we need to do is just cut that shape out. So of course, once we get this shape cut on one of the pieces of Depron, then we can just transfer it onto the other piece of Depron by putting them together and tracing it through. Okay, I'll just very quickly cut this out. You might want to take a little bit more time with it and do it carefully. But I'll just show you very quickly. Make sure you've got a very sharp hobby knife. The, the Depron will tend to blunt on your hobby knife. Okay. So that piece comes out. Alright, and that's what our Depron is going to slip through. Like this, when we're forming it with the hot water. Okay, of course you just put that on there. And you transfer it through onto the other onto the other piece, and then you glue all of your pieces together, and you'll end up with something like this. Okay, so now we'll go on to the next stage, and we'll look at how we're going to form the flat piece of uh, of Depron into the shape. And uh, I'm just going to use this one here that I've used that I've made already. Right, so I've cut uh, one section of my wing. Now, I normally make the wings in two sections. Okay, so it's going to be like this. Uh, now that's because to do this, you're going to need a very deep bucket. So you might need uh, you might need to make the sections, the wing in two sections and join them together. So what we do is we take the flat piece of Depron. I'm using gray, you can use uh, white Depron as well. I find gray Depron tends to uh, bend a lot easier. Now we're going to slide it through here, so we'll have to bend it a little bit to get it through there. On the other side, if you can get one end in first, the other end should come in. Okay, so there you go. You can see the mold is actually bending the, the Depron. But of course by itself it's not going to hold in that shape, so we need to heat the Depron. And we need to, as we heat it, we need to pull it through the mold there. Okay, so we're going to take a look at how we do that. Right, so here's the tricky part. We've got a wing that's this long, and we've got a, a bin that's this long. You have to try to get a bin or a bucket that's uh, as as tall as possible and thin. Uh, but this one is still not quite deep enough. So what we might have to do is do this in two parts. We might have to do this end of the wing first, and then turn it over, and then do the other end of the wing. 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is fill this up with hot water, and the water needs to be very hot. And, and I'll just start, I'll do, I'll do half of the wing first, and then flip it over and do the other half. Alright, so we've got our bucket here, and we're going to fill it with uh, very hot water. Okay, so of course, kids ask an adult to do this for you, don't do it by yourself. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave the about 5mm from the top there. Okay, so that's going to give us just a little bit of air between this and the hot water, so that the, uh, so that the mould itself doesn't actually uh, get heated up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this through and we're going to do this half of the wing first. So we just put it straight in the hot water there. Okay, and then we just pull, pull it out. Just hold that. Now the reason you have two surfaces here is so that as the wing comes through, as it comes out of the hot water and through the bottom surface, it actually, the top surface actually holds it in the same shape as it cools and you know, by the time it comes out the top here it's only just warm. Okay, I might be doing this a little bit too fast but just take your time and just pull it out evenly. Okay, we're almost at the end there. Okay, you can see there we are there. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn it around And we're going to do the other side in exactly the same way. Okay, I can actually put this down all the, almost all the way to the bottom. Okay, this bit's been done already. And now we're doing the other end that hasn't been done yet. Okay, so as it's coming up there, it's heating. And then as it comes out the top, or as it comes out from the bottom, it's actually cooling. get to the bottom, there we are, we're right through there, we'll just hold that there for about 5 or 10 seconds to let the part that's inside here cool, that should be enough, okay, we'll take it out, okay, so there's the, the finished product, so you've got a wing that's been formed to the shape of your mould, okay, just be very careful because that is hot water, okay, so you might want to wear uh, gloves or something while you're doing this. But that's how we make a aerofoil like this out of Depot.